he comes, here he comes, then the trumpets, then the drums, here he comes. Hop along, Cassidy, here he Chuck, try to beat you if Lucky hadn't gotten my way. Hey, you got in my way. I... Wait a minute. The bet was two dollars, you remember? Why, Hoppy, I thought you was betting us a dollar apiece. You did, huh? No, I reckon I understood you. Ah, that's better. You know, you boys keep up this reckless spending. You're not going to have any money for your vacation. Vacation, huh? A lot of fun Lucky and me are going to have sitting around the bar 20. There's no place like home to spend a vacation. Oh. Sure. Can't we go someplace and have a little fun, Hoppy? Yeah. Oh, well, I suppose it's perfectly natural for a couple of cowpokes with a few dollars in their pocket to want to go on a spree. Why, sure. Why, Lucky and me's just a couple of kids. Where will we go? At home. Oh, now, Hoppy, what... I hate to think of sitting around twiddling my thumbs. Well, are you coming? Sure, we're coming, but we don't want to. They didn't know it, but I didn't intend to miss the celebration either. Hey, Hoppy! You're going the wrong way. Hey, you turn left to go to the bar 20. Do you think I don't know my right from my left? You mean we're going to... Yeah, we're going to Mesa City. <laughs> yeah. Don't get excited. I've got to pick up some things in there. We'll only be there a couple of hours. We'll, we'll have fun anyway! <laughs> Bad we didn't get here sooner. You could have been in the parade. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Shirt off ain't dressed for it. <laughs> Sign the book, everybody. <laughs> well, welcome to Mesa City, stranger. Here, Jed, take this. I'm Mayor Frank Patton. How do you do, Mayor? I'm glad to know you. I'm Hoplong Cassidy. This is California Krause and Howdy, Mayor. Lucky Jenkins. How do you do, Mr. Hello, Jenkins? Mayor. Gentlemen, I wish you'd please step over here and sign the book for me. This is my daughter, Gloria. Hello, welcome. How do you do? Sign here, please. Well, I've signed, but we're not going to be in town very long. Oh, that's too bad. If you had, you could have entered some of the contest. Yes, yes. By the way, I'm chairman of the entertainment committee. Self-appointed. He's the most important man in town. Owns a hotel, president of the city council. That's self-appointed, too. He's chairman of the realty board. Oh, quiet, quiet, Jed. Just because I let you run my hotel doesn't give you the right to be disrespectful. <laughs> Sorry, Your Honor. Here, California, you better sign. Sure. What's the celebration about? We're going to have the greatest irrigation project in the state. What kind of contraption is that? It's what they call a horseless carriage. Looks dangerous to me. Uh, you might as well get used to them. Probably be dozens of them around before long. If you want to see some more land, just call on me. Thanks very much, sir. All right, boys. Let's go. Well, I got that ship of the benzene in while you were gone. Mr. Dunning, meet Mr. Cassidy. How do you do, sir? Very glad to know you. How do you do? Mr. Dunning's responsible for our irrigation project. That's what this land needs. It'll open up more territory for new crops. Thousands of acres. Why, it'll be the biggest boom since I was the president of the CAIAI. CAIAI? Yes, the Citizens Amalgamated Improvement Association, Inc. Uh, by the way, Your Honor, here's another draft. Add it to my account, would you please? Five thousand? 
Mr. Dunning, I, he's one of my biggest depositors. Oh, I own the First National Bank, too. Mr. Dunning thought out the whole plan for our irrigation improvement. We're going to build a pipeline from the East Lake. All financed by local people, with his help, of course. The local ranchers have contributed very generously, too. Oh, I'll say they have. Why, we've got over $100,000 on deposit in my... Oh, I, I told you that before, didn't I? Yes, you own the bank, too. Well, if you'll excuse me, gentlemen. Hope I see you again, Mr. Cassidy. Thank you. There goes the young fellow with a head on his shoulders. <laughs> well, Mr. Cassidy, let's get on with your buying. The sooner the better. And remember what I told you to. Be here in 30 minutes and keep out of trouble. How about it? Well, Janet, Hoppy said we wasn't going to stay. Do you think he'd skin us alive if we, uh... Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. Especially if we win some of that prize money before he's ready to leave town. Yeah. It's a go? Meet you in the hotel lobby. We stay? We stay? <laughs> we'll stick together and take our punishment if anything goes wrong. Fight man. Right. Just a shame. I hope Hoppy don't get mad. California. California. After I paid my entry fee, I found out the bronc riding contest doesn't come off till tomorrow. Yeah, well, the dancing contest ain't till tonight. Yeah, but I can't get my money back. Well, I can't neither. Uh, what can we do about it? I... Lucky, the time's come for action. I got an idea. Well, I'll even try one of your ideas. We couldn't be much worse off. Okay, Mr. Cassidy, I'll have those things ready for you before you go. That's <laughs> fine. Uh, say, by the way, Mayor, did Benning say he was going to bring that pipeline in from the East Lake? Yes, right over the East Range. <laughs> What's on your mind? That's going to be quite a problem, bringing that water over the East Range, isn't it? Oh, not for a man like Dunning. Oh, he's a smart fellow. Maybe he is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Patton. I was supposed to meet my two friends here. You see them? I saw them in the lobby a few minutes ago. Thank you. Have you seen the two men I came to town with? Oh, yes. They're up in Suite 214. Sweet 214. Well, go on up and see them. I'm sure it'll be all right with them. Well, what are they doing up there? Well, I don't know. I never pry into the personal affairs of the guests. <laughs> so I see. California telling. Well, it's like this, Hoppy. You see, this year's celebration, it lasts two days. And the dancing contest, it's tonight. And the bronc contest is tomorrow. So we thought... You thought what? Well, California... We thought that... Maybe you'd like to stay here tonight. And you made all arrangements. Oh, but we was going to ask you about it, Hoppy. Yeah. Oh, sure. What? This is the bridal suite. Jed gave it to us. <laughs> Ain't it elegant? And it won't cost you a cent, Hoppy. The treat's on us. You bet it is. It's the best sleeping place west of the Mississippi. And oh, it's one of them newfangled bathtubs. Uh, oh, looky here. <laughs> a clothes cover. And a dummy waiter. See this thing here? You just blow into it. <laughs> and order anything you want. Uh, and it talks back to you. <laughs> How about it, Hoppy? <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. When I was over at the store a while ago, I was thinking we might all get together and do just this. Yes, yeah, you, you mean, mean that? Sure. <laughs> Only I don't think we'd have had the bridal suite. No, no. And you better win that contest money, too. Oh, sure. sure. Come sure. on, sure. Come sit on. down, Hoppy. Uh, Make yourself comfortable. Yeah, let's take uh, your boots off. Sure. Now you look at them checkered pants. You look at them. I'm going to be the best dressed man at the square dance. Right, Mr. Carlson. Yes. I outfit all the important gentlemen in town. Did you get that lucky? <laughs> Mary. I want to look like that dummy. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll look exactly like him. Well, thanks. Who said that? <laughs> well, well, look at him. Well, you think you're the only ones that can buy new clothes? No, no, you just surprised us, that's all. Mr. Cassidy picked those things out when he was in the store a while ago. Running me competition, huh? Oh, you'll win hands down on that suit. It could be a little big. 
Oh, no. It looks fine on you. Hmm. Looks like you'd been poured into it. Well, the sleeves are a little long. Oh, just a little. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't do any altering today. But I've got to wear the square dance tonight. I'll pay you extra if you fix it up. Well, well I'll try. I'll wrap up your old things, Mr. Cassidy. Yeah, and don't forget this suitcase I just bought. Oh, sure, sure, sure. You mean you bought one of those, too? Yep. Well, you're getting kind of reckless with your money, aren't you? Can't every day I go on the spree, Hoppy. <laughs> Fun, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going over to the store and get my new suit. You're going to be the belle of the ball. <laughs> don't let them start the contest without me. Oh, they wouldn't think of it. Never believe this. Fits perfectly, Mr. Carlson. Perfectly. And now, if you don't mind, I, I'd like to get back to the hotel. You've got to get back. I've got to get back. But you're not as important as I am. I have to judge the contest. Oh, we don't need no judge. I'm the best square dancer in the country. <laughs> Where's my old clothes? Right over there. I, oh, no, no. I remember they're in the dressing room. Oh, yeah. You did all right. Sure enough? Yeah, I was surprised. Well, maybe I should do that more often, huh? That explosion came from the bank. Look at those men running out. What was that? It sounded like it came from the bank. The bank! Okay. See who it was? No, it happened so quick. Help! Help! Where's the sheriff? Sheriff! The bank! Where's the sheriff? Somebody's cleaned out the vault. Did you say those men robbed the bank? Yes, they did. Did you identify any of them? No, I couldn't. Well, you should be able to. They went right by you. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Cassidy, but it was too dark. Sheriff, I demand immediate action. I'll organize a posse. Well, come on. Come on. Mr. Lucky, come you on, take please. care of yes. California. You... I'm going with the posse. That's right, Hoppy. Mr. Cassidy and the posse haven't arrived. They will. How about some more towels for our room? Sure thing. Bring them up myself. Service. That's me. Better get on my old clothes. This is an outrage. How's California? He's all right, Hoppy. You know what a hard head he has. Never mind whose head is hard or soft. I want those robbers apprehended or you'll be looking for a new job. Now, look here, Frank. No I... familiarity. Address me as Your Honor. It's all right, Your Honor. We'll be on the trail again by daylight. By daylight, they'll be well out of our reach. Or anyone else's, for that matter. And what would you suggest? That's for the law to say. But I will say this much. I'm going to hold the mayor responsible for my law. I have absolutely... Mr. Mayor, I've got the thief locked up. Well, 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 Sheriff, I found the stolen money. What do you, you mean to say? Everybody, that... stop talking at once. Now, Jed, what is it you're trying to tell me? Follow me. Well, you better disarm them, too. Well, why us? 
Because your partner, California, has the money, and I wouldn't be surprised, but when you're in on it, too. Oh, you're out of your mind, Jed. Oh, no, I ain't. Just take the guns. I'll prove what I said. All right, boys, let me have the guns. There you are. All right, let's go. Will you be quiet? Well, where is the money? It's over there, Hoppy. I'll show you. If I, I just... There it is. Doggone it, it's gone. He's lying, Sheriff. He hid it someplace. You'd better be careful how you talk, mister. Are you sure that's where you put it? Why, uh, sh yeah, sure, sure, I'm sure. I ain't crazy. Did you or did you not take the money? All right, Sheriff, do your duty. Hoppy, you're not gonna let him take California, are you? Well, what else can I do, Lucky? California admits he had the money. Jed saw him with it, now it's gone. What about these two? We'll be right here. We're just as anxious to see this cleared up as you are. Don't try to leave town. Come on, you come along with me. Now, wait a minute. Hoppy, you come ain't on, gonna let... Come on. Hoppy, I just remember something. Now, go what on I... with the sheriff and don't give us any more trouble. Our whole celebration is ruined. Well, I wouldn't get too upset about it, Your Honor. I'm sure after he's had a good night's sleep, he'll talk. You think so? Oh, yes. He, uh, he usually talks in the morning. Well, he better. This could develop into a very nasty affair, particularly when you consider the losses of the ranchers in this community. You don't seem upset about your own money. Well, that's his honor's worry. Oh, Mr. Dunning, Mr. Dunning, please be patient. I, I assure you, I... What goes on here, anyway? You know California didn't steal that money? Of course he didn't, Lucky. And he'll probably never forgive me. Then why did you let them take him? Do you know why they put cheese in rat traps? To catch rats. Dunning. Everything all right in town? Yeah, it's made a perfect getaway. Come on, open it up quick. I want to fan out of here. You mean to say you haven't taken your share yet? No, we ain't touched it. We've been waiting for you. Well, you can have the honor of making the split. According to your figures, Dunning, we ought to have over 100,000. Just about. What is this, a joke? You better show me that money pretty quick. Put away that gun, Ace. Uh, not till one of you double crosses shows me that money. None of us have the money. You left it in town. Ah, quit the mystery, Dunning. You remember bumping into a man when you left the bank? Yeah. Yeah, I knocked him down before I could get away. Yes, well, he was carrying a suitcase, too. You must have grabbed the wrong one. Well, where is the old coot? He's in jail. We robbed the bank, and you give it right back to him. Maybe we're not so bad off. At least we have someone to blame for the robbery. What good is that without the money? You know, I just happened to think of something, Dunning. Ten thousand dollars of your cash was in it. You don't look like you're worried much. We'll recover the right suitcase. Uh, let's go. We can't do anything tonight. The man you bumped into is still dizzy, but when he starts talking, we'll be there. You bet we will. Now, look. You two meet me at the edge of town in the morning. Hill, you come with me now. Okay. at a very bad time. But I assure you, this unfortunate affair will be very quickly taken care of. Mr. Cassidy, this is Mr. Hill. He's an associate engineer on our project. How do you do, sir? How are you, sir? Mr. Jenkins. I'm uh, lucky to be here. I lost my way. <laughs> They're taking the prisoner out of jail now. We, we better go for the investigation. No, stay outside for a while and then come inside. And don't attract any attention. Remember what I told you about a trap? Yeah. Looks like the rats are going for the cheese. This comes off like you expected to. Me too. Well, here he is, Mr. Cassidy. Slept all night like a baby. How's your head, California? Oh, kind of sore, Hoppy, but uh, I think I remember. Well, come on, good. Let's go inside. Well, you got to your room. Now, don't let him get you excited. Just take your time. Yeah, I'll go slow. Well, I put the suitcase in the bed. I opened it up, and gosh, all was fainted. I never saw so much money in all my born days. All the money I had in the bank vaults. Well, doggone it, I never counted it. Of course you didn't. I only count up to two dollars. 
Then what you do? Now, don't rush me. After all, I was hitting the head. All right, go on, go on. It, was you ever hitting the noggin with something and tried to remember? Yes, I know. I know. Well, try it sometime, dog. This ain't a billiard ball, you know. It's bone or something. Wait a minute. What do you want? I want the suitcase you got in that sack. Somebody take care of him. Jed, what's he got to do with it? I'll explain later. Let's get going. All right. Come on, we'll make a stand there. off on foot here. robbed again. What happened to the money? I think the mayor can tell you where it is. I, I, I can? What do you mean? If you'll come back to the hotel with me, I'll see that the mayor produces the money. Well, go ahead, Frank. Well, I, I've come never on. been so Let's unjustly go. accused come of complicity in a crime. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. get going. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me have that package, will you please? What 
fact addressed to Dad. Yes, I know it is. Sheriff, will you open that? So you're the one, Your Honor. Now, now, wait a minute, wait a minute, Sheriff. You, you better come you, along with me, Frank. You, you know absolutely... <laughs> now, wait a minute. I found the money last night and addressed it to you in case anything happened to me. Some of that money belongs to me. Some of it did belong to you. Now it belongs to the state. They'll decide what to do with it, and you too. Now, I remember, there's the fellow I sold the other suitcase to. Well, it's too bad you didn't remember sooner. All right, Sheriff, take him along. All right, get going. Oh, I'll explain the failure of the water project to the people. Oh, I'm sure any explanation you give me, Your Honor, will be perfectly all right. Yes, yes, I, I guess it will.